All right. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. This is Sho, and here we are in, with another Monarch support help guide for anyone who's interested in checking out this game or maybe is kind of struggling on how to complete some of the achievements and events. This particular video is going to be on the personality quizzes to get the two personality-based trophies in the game. So, um, as I mentioned in the attack review, basically you have the personality system, right? So that is the main character sort of ego stats that we can see uh, up on the screen to the left. Now, uh, as I mentioned in the review, they don't really do all that much. In the beginning, it has your opening legion, and then uh, there's some late game items for like, armors for your vessels or your fiends, your legion that you can equip that have sort of limitations based upon what your ego level's at. And of course, there are the alter egos, which are the permanent stat boosting items that you need to have a certain ego level to acquire. So aside from that, there's not a whole lot going on with these specifically, but um, in terms of getting these up to max or trying to get them up to good levels quickly to get the stats you want for the alter ego bonuses or items, we have the personality quizzes. Now these can be found in the library section when you unlock them. Here they is, the Shinri quiz. And in total, there are 43 of them. And these 43 are given to you by three distinct students. Uh, you have, what is it, Matsushima, you have uh, Sonobe, and then you have, uh, gosh, what was his name? Noruyama? I think it was. Sorry, Nobutaka. That was it. All right, Iyayama son. Yeah, okay, Iyayama. There we go. So what you'll need to do is basically talk to one of those three students. They will randomly give you one of the quizzes from their pool. So in the case of the first one you meet, which is Matsushima, he has 14 quizzes. He will randomly give you one of the 14 quizzes every time you talk to him. Uh, it's important to note that once you finish collecting all 14 quizzes, they will still offer quizzes to you. It's just that uh, they'll just pick a random one and you'll be doing it again. So if you want to, you can use that to farm uh, your ego points if you want to build them up really quickly again to collect alter egos. Now, in order to farm these or in order to collect more than one, there is a bit of a cooldown period. And the cooldown period is really simple. It's one battle. So what you'll need to do is you will need to basically talk to maybe one of them or all three of them, hop into a battle, come back and talk to one or all three of them again to collect the next set, and then battle, talk to them, battle, talk to them. Uh, if you do that cycle again about 14, 15 times, you'll be able to farm all the reports in basically you know, a single go, or you can just collect them one at a time as you progress through the story, since story battles count towards that. So either way is fine. Also, just to confirm, as you can see, I have all 43 of these unlocked here. And if I talk to Matsushima again, he still says, hey, I have an awesome quiz. Why don't you give it a try? And then I can answer his quiz. So just pick a random one here and bam. I will get my hands on some more points, even though I'm already maxed out. So it doesn't really do much. All right. Now, uh, fun fact actually about these personality quizzes is these are actually taken from real um, quizzes that are published here in Japan. Uh, there is an, a whole sort of kind of psychology market for that sort of thing. And they actually reference the specific books and people, doctors and professors who have developed these quizzes. So it's kind of fun to see actual, well, I guess, quote unquote actual psychology being brought into sort of a mainstream here. So kudos to the developers for that. All right, let's get into the, the important part, which is how to find these three people. So uh, do note that I'm in post game. So because I'm in post game, their locations actually change, but throughout the main game, they have a pretty static location. So the first one, which is Matsushima, this guy in front of me, he is in the main school building which is where we are at right now, but his regular location is not on the first floor. It's actually on the third floor. So in the beginning of the game, I think like the way, way beginning for like the first two levels, um, you know, he'll be on the first floor or whatnot. But once you clear chapter one, the zombies chapter, he will pr basically permanently move to the third floor and he will be sitting or standing right here in kind of this atrium area right near the banisters. He'll be up against the wall, just kind of looking out. Just walk up to him, talk to him, just as I showed you, and you will get one of his quizzes. So that is the first one, and he'll be the earliest one you come across. 
Now, the other two will be dependent on sort of how you decide to handle the rest of your Act 1 playthrough. If you're like me and you went for the second grade school next, which is Ryotaro's story, uh, which you'll learn as soon as you finish Act 1 or uh, Chapter 1, you'll be hunting a guy named Nobutaka Iyama. Now, in the post game, he's actually located right here near the main entrance, I guess for ease of access. But in reality, he is also located on the third floor of the school. So you'll need to make your way up to the third floor of the second grade school building. And he's normally found right here. Yes, he's normally found right here. Uh, some of his other classmates are usually down the hallway a bit. But you'll normally find him right here standing. Again, this is Nobutaka Iyama. And he'll be providing you with the second set of quizzes. The third and the final student is uh, Sonobe. And she is found in the first uh, year dormitory. So the first year dormitory, first year school building. And her main location uh, in the post game is actually kind of far. She's like on the way opposite end of the first floor. But her normal location is actually on the second floor of the first grade school building. So as you enter, you go up these stairs and actually you will find her pretty much standing right here. Yeah, so right here with her back to the banister looking off on the uh, lunch area below. Just talk to her and you'll be able to get her set of quizzes. So once more, the three characters are Matsushima Tenharu, who's in the uh, third floor of the main school building, Nobutaka Iyama, who is in the third floor of the second grade school building, and finally, Miho Sonobe, who is in the second floor of the first grade school building. So if you farm them, you can collect all of the personality quizzes, get the two achievements, trophies associated with it, and uh, be able to level up your ego if you need to get some boosts. Anyway, I, I hope this small guide was helpful uh, in getting the information. If it was, please feel free to leave a like, maybe drop a few comments if you have any questions, and yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel. It, every little bit helps uh, send, sending your love my way, so thank you so much. And uh, this is Show. I'll catch you next time. Cheers!